Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second video in Spark streaming tutorial in Apache Spark 2. In this video lecture, we'll uh, learn how to read a text file stream. In our previous video lecture, we have learned about socket uh, text streaming where uh, Spark's job listens to a particular port on a particular host and it will uh, read the data, uh, text data, whatever is generated on that particular port. With this uh, text file streaming, will listen to a particular directory and whenever a new file is added to a particular directory uh, that particular file will be fetched and it will uh, it will be read by the spark and it will be processed within the spark and it will generate the output like how we have listened to a particular post uh, on a host will be listening uh, to a particular directory on a uh, host right uh, in this in this video lecture uh, i'll be demonstrating how to read a particular uh, directory from a host and the directory would be a, a local directory and uh, uh, with, uh, whenever a file is added uh, uh, the the file will be picked up by the spark streaming uh, service and uh, uh, will be handed over with the rdd of string and then thereby we can uh, uh, do whatever manipulations we want to do the current uh, uh, text file uh, text file streaming whatever i'm trying to explain uh, uh, will also come under the dstream api uh, that means we'll be working with the rdds rather than uh, 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 with a data frame or a data set in my coming video lectures i'll be working with the structure streaming where we'll be uh, learning how to deal uh, with a data frame or a data set whenever we are working with a spark streaming right now i'll be using dstream api right so let me quickly create a spark job and define a main method now uh, let me create a spark on spark on this time i would like to give entire course available in my machine and i'll be giving a name to my application Right, I have my Spark configuration ready. Now it is time to create the Spark context, Spark streaming context. As we are still learning how to create a Spark streaming session, I am iteratively uh, explaining how to create this. Now, seconds. Uh, so as I'll be reading a, a file, uh, so I should give us a, a, a generous amount of uh, uh, time to my uh, spark streaming application so that it can process uh, the particular file within the time span whatever we are uh, giving here uh, so for that let uh, to determine how much time we have to give to our streaming application uh, let me go to the data set which i have right now uh, my data set would be something like this well, these are my data sets i have uh, over here so if you see observe uh, 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 size of the data sets whatever i have it is hardly in kbs right uh, so the maximum i can see over here is uh, approximately close to uh, 500 uh, 512 kb it's like half half megabyte right so for processing of half megabyte probably 10 to 20 seconds of time would be uh, enough right so so when i try to give uh, uh, time frame for my uh, streaming application so this time i would like to go with 15 seconds uh, to process uh, uh, to process entire my uh, file whatever i have there right uh, so if, if you, the file size if you are working with uh, here is huge like it is in uh, uh, 10 gb or 20 gb or 30 gb you have to keep in mind that the time uh, uh, for execution of this uh, 20 gb or 30 gb of file uh, will be a little uh, more than this 15 seconds so you have to calculate based on that and uh, uh, that that much time should be given to the spa streaming application right now i have given um, 15 seconds even 15 seconds is also a huge time i think uh, 10 seconds or 5 seconds would be fine but for us to observe uh, let me give uh, 10 seconds uh, as my uh, streaming processing uh, time right now so let me read in um, uh, stream rdd whatever i get it so when i read the stream rdd right how can i, uh, I read uh, this time i would like to read or monitor a particular directory here you can see that uh, uh, last time we have worked with the uh, socket text streaming uh, but this time we'll be working with text file streaming 
where it takes a directory uh, path as an input right uh, so what is this directory path so it whenever whatever path we have uh, shared over here that particular path would be monitored by our spark streaming application that means suppose uh, this is my uh, source uh, file location right suppose I'll, I'll try to simulate uh, a streaming uh, a scenario or file streaming scenario in our uh, example here I have created a temporary directory, uh, a temporary working directory under my downloads directory, uh, which will, which I would like my Spark streaming application to monitor for a new file which would be copied into this or new file which would be generated into this particular directory. So when I give this particular path over here, what Spark does is every time, every 10 seconds, it will uh, uh, it will be of monitoring this particular directory and checks whether a new file has been added to this or not whenever a new file is added to this the streaming application picks up that file and it will uh, start processing the file right we'll we'll get into that uh, details now so uh, for now what you what you have to understand is uh, spark will be monitoring this application as soon as it uh, we uh, run the spark job or spark application is started now uh, i have given this uh, streaming directory so whatever uh, 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 whatever uh, the data type uh, that is written from this is of type string right so to read uh, to know what kind of data I'm reading with or dealing with so let me just uh, uh, read one or head one particular file and uh, it is a CSV file and the CSV file is uh, something related to the uh, sales inventory uh, right so you can see that there is an invoice number and a stock code or the item code and what is the description of the item what is the quantity uh, so in that particular invoice these are all the items uh, that have been uh, purchased right and these items <clears throat> these, uh, these items uh, and we have a description and we have uh, uh, the invoice date and uh, what is the unit price what is the customer id and which country it has been uh, purchased in we we will just assume this is an online uh, uh, marketing store or online um, uh, uh, store uh, the main motto of this uh, 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 video series is to understand how to use uh, uh, text file streaming uh, with spark right uh, the use case may might differ in the real world it's just a sample use case which i would like to work with right uh, now i have uh, I have I have uh, got this D stream of string. That means the Spark would be reading uh, the file and it will be returning a D stream of string, right? Now, uh, so if you if you observe this CSV file, the first uh, the first entry of the CSV file is uh, the header, right? It has uh, column names uh, which which are which describes the columns uh, within the uh, file right so I don't want to uh, I, I want to filter out this uh, uh, particular column before I uh, proceed with my um, evaluation of the file right so for that what I can do is uh, um, filtered data I will do stream rdd dot uh, filter and uh, what I can do uh, I should not not dot matches that means whatever line I get right match matches I can pass a regular expression right sorry regular expression what does this regular expression say uh, if, if it is a word it will uh, give written the uh, true or something like that no so whenever a line has a word starting starts with words then I am filtering out that particular line Okay, this way I'm filtering out the first line. Now I have uh, filtered the first line. So what I want to do, I want to group uh, uh, based on, uh, I want to group based on my invoice ID, invoice number. So as I'm working with the file streaming, right? So I'll have, uh, I'll, I'll have to work with uh, the row. So I'll take each and every uh, uh, row and what I'll do, I'll first I have to uh, what the row whatever I get it is of type string right uh, you can see that it is of type string so first I have to uh, split the elements of a row right so what uh, I'll be getting this entire string right so now I have to split the string based on the delimiter which is a comma in our current scenario so what I'll do row elements 
uh, I'll take um, row dot split based on comma right now I have my row elements what I have to do I'll be returning uh, uh, row elements of zero the first element I'll be grouping based on uh, based on number of uh, sorry based on the invoice number so and I'll pass rest of the row as well so here I'll, I'm getting key and value pairs over here so once I have this key and value pairs, what I can do, uh, I'll do something like group by key and I'll do count on the group by key. So I'm getting some uh, data. I'm getting all the long numbers right over here. Now, whatever group data dot print. So what you have to understand over here, here the logic can be anything. You, you, this is the core logic I wanted to work with, right? So the logic can be anything. The main motto of or the main intention of this particular video is uh, to understand how the data is written whenever a directory or a text file stream is used with a Spark streaming application. Whenever uh, a text file streaming is used in Spark streaming, it will return a D stream of string. That means it will read the file and it will take uh, 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 each and every row or it will read entire file and it will convert the uh, contents of the file into a string that is each row will be converted to a string and uh, uh, the D stream of string is nothing but it is similar to the RDD of string whenever you read a text file in RDD right if you are using spark context or text uh, uh, text file it will return RDD of string it is similar to this RDD of string uh, here instead we are getting D stream because we are working on a micro batch level right so and that's how uh, uh, the spark works when we are working with text file stream it's a similar to a, a spark context text file right so once i got it i'm just filtering out the first header and i'm applying my logic this logic can be anything you can come up with your own logic and uh, uh, you can work on the data set I'll upload the data set whatever I'm using in my github repository I have I'll uh, uh, leave a link uh, to my github repository in the description below so you can uh, check it out uh, check out the uh, data sets now um, this is the spark streaming application now I have to start my application and uh, I have I have to wait await termination uh -huh. until uh, until the spark job is terminated I would uh, wait uh, right now my job is ready now let me run this now when the spark job has started right uh, what it does it keeps on uh, uh, waiting in this particular on this particular directory whether the new file is generated or not right uh, to simulate this streaming scenario right what I'll do is uh, I'll try to copy the data uh, suppose I would like to copy this data into uh, it is there under my downloads uh, temp working directory right simply i'll just copy so this copy by copying this uh, file into this particular location i am uh, simulating a spark uh, streaming uh, uh, scenario once i uh, copy it and it will wait for 10 seconds and you can see uh, you can see there are uh, the counts whatever uh, 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 it is showing the counts as 50 right because we are uh, counting the number of uh, keys I think there are 15 voices in this I guess so that's what it is uh, showing I just uh, took a sample uh, scenario right um, so that's how uh, you work it right so right now I have copied just one file uh, let me copy another file uh, I'll just copy another file over here so uh, let me I haven't given any enter here so I've just copied the file and you can see uh, it has done the counting and um, uh, and it, has, it is printing the value right uh, so one important thing you have to keep in mind when you're working with this uh, text file streaming is uh, you have to consider the file size and the time duration whatever you're mentioning over uh, your spark uh, streaming context right uh, if the file size is huge and uh, you have to give ample time to spark streaming application to process the file whatever it has picked up in this particular time interval right that is very important 
right? Uh, so running the sim, uh, we can run the similar job in uh, uh, cluster as well. You just build the jar and uh, deploy it into a GCP cluster or whatever uh, cluster you have, and you can run it. It works as is, right? So uh, that's it uh, for this video lecture, guys. Uh, in this video lecture, uh, I think we have learned uh, how to use uh, file text uh, streaming and what we'll be getting when we use this, and uh, that's how uh, uh, we work with a text file streaming okay uh, if you like this video please do give a thumbs up and uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and please do share the channel and spread the knowledge right guys and uh, see you in the next video bye guys take care